Hey guys, this is Belly Strong and welcome to week two of your postpartum restore, strengthen and trying to conceive program. For our 30 minute strength workout this week, we're focusing on the legs. So by the end of this workout, you should really feel those glutes, quads, hamstrings and calves burning. We'll start with our warm up to get things loose, beginning with a squat into a side bend. We're really going to be maximizing the work that the leg muscles are doing today. So we want to make sure we are ad ugh, adequately rather warmed up before we begin. Two more. And one into a leg swing. So you can put a hand on the wall to balance or a table, but we're just flicking the foot forward and back nice and loose. It's not about getting your leg as high as you can, but just mobilizing that hip. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides. If you don't need to hold on, think of it as a bit of a balance exercise too. As the leg goes back though, try not to let the lower back arch. We want to keep those abdominals braced here. Three, two, one. Feet together, mobilizing the spine. We've got round the world. Down to the side, round forward, chin to chest. Feel the lower back stretch here. Over to the other side and come up. Side round forward, side and up. You may hear a few clicks and cracks as everything warms up. As long as they're not painful, that's okay. Side, forward, side, last one. Moving to the arms, backs of the wrists on the hip, Elbows forward and then out as you push the chest forward. You can pair your breathing with this. Inhale, arms back. Exhale, elbows forward. Four. Three. Two. One. And now we're back to the legs with a knee pull. And then if you can, twisting it into a bit of rotation, switch, knee hug, really pull it up. Twist, opening out that hip down. If you just want to stick with the knee hug, you can do that. Four more. Three. two and one oh and me falling out of that last one shake out the arms shake out the legs we're going to go into our workout it begins with a squat and a tap back down into a squat you're going to then tap back and down alternating sides Down and tap. Try to go down low into that squat and push off that leg as you tap one leg back. Heart rate should also be coming up. And we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, straight into squat walks. Come to one side of your mat, squat down, and we walk to the side, keeping it as low as you can control. And you'll notice that I'm barefoot for this strength workout today. You can do this 
with shoes, whichever is more comfortable for you. Side and walk. If you can, three steps each way. Hamstrings should start to feel it here. Two more. Last one. And up. We're down into a sumo squat and a reach. And I'm just going to fix my mat here. Huh. Bit of an extra break. Hands behind head. Toes pointing out. Down into a sumo squat here. As low as you can comfortably go. Push up. Down and up. As you come up, really squeeze the inner thighs together. Squeeze the glutes. Down and up. Keep it going. You can go faster than me or slower. Whatever works for you. But try to challenge yourself a little. Six, five, back up straight as you squat. Four, three, two, one. Relax, take a couple of deep breaths because we do that all over again. Starting with those squat and step backs or tap backs. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Throughout all of these, we're into our second set. Down, tap back. As you squat, try not to let the knees go too far over the toes, as it can irritate the knees a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Into our side walks. Down into that squat and walk. And although we do have a 20 minute hit cardio workout for each week of this program, it's always nice to get in a little bit of cardio into the other workouts. And side, side side only four more of these four three two and one into that sumo squat knees out to the side hands behind back down and up. Knees are not falling forwards, they're pushing open as we squat. Down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and arms down. We're now going to head into a lunge series here. So stand side on, on your mat, up nice and tall, right leg behind you. We're down into a lunge, fingertips on the floor, and I want you to try and stay low here. We are driving that knee in as we maintain the bend at the front knee, not letting knee come here, knee straight over that ankle. And you should start to feel this in the glutes and hamstrings of the front leg. Keep it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, switch straight over. If you can, no break, other side. Relax the shoulders. Working that core as you bring that knee forward. Weight is on the heel of your front foot rather than the toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down into kneeling. Hands behind head, we're working the hamstrings here. You're going to hinge forwards there and then come up. Down and up. As you come up, squeeze the glutes. Down and up. The less that you sit your hips back, the harder it's going to be to control. Five, four, three, two, one. Standing back up. That acts as a little bit of a recovery too as we get into our single leg deadlift. You're going to balance on one leg, hips facing forwards, reaching down, and then coming up into a twist. This one is less about speed and more ooh, about control. If just leaning forward is enough of a challenge, just do that. Take out the twist, but do something that is challenging for you. And I'm losing my balance here. Let's do one more good one. Other side. Really stand up tall, push out of that standing leg. Keep the back straight as you hinge forwards. Squeeze the glute of the standing leg as you stand back up. Reach. Breathe. Last two. And one. Up. Because those are really good for control, we're going to repeat. Come down into that lunge position, keep the back straight, drive that knee forward. Keeping the butt low. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change sides. Bring it in. Weight on the heel of the front leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Kneeling down, hands behind the head, lean forward. Pull the shoulder blades down the back as you open up the chest. This will also act as a little bit of a back workout or activation. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, that single leg control. Start on one side with that hinge forward. 
come up and twist. Keep your eyes on one spot that will help with balance. Up. Three. Two. And one. Other side. Down and twist. I almost wish I had worn trainers today because this would be a lot easier with shoes on. Down and up. Last two. One more. We're going to lie down now, but not for a break. We're going to continue working those legs. Come down onto your stomach. You're going to bring your heels together, knees out. Throughout these exercises, make sure that you're not letting your abs go completely, but there's a little bit of tension in the abs to protect the back. We start with pushing those heels together, and you're going to lift the knees off of the mat. As you can see, mine are hardly lifting at all, but I am feeling it into the glutes and hamstrings, which is all you really need from this exercise. Push the heels together, squeeze the glutes, lift. Push together, squeeze and lift. And lift, we've got five more. Four. Three, two, one, hold it there. You're going to pulse up. Keep the tension in the abs. If you're starting to feel it in the low back, you're probably not bracing those abs as or enough. So then just push the heels together and take out the lift. But if you can, we're pulsing for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. You're going to keep that lift, keep that glute squeeze. Extend the knees. So knees are slightly off the mat. Come back, heels together. Extend and bend. So we're basically just straightening the knees and bending them, but we're trying to keep the thighs and the knees lifted off the mat. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the legs down, rock the hips from side to side. Release that low back because we have another set coming up. Start with heels together, push them together, squeeze the glutes, lift. You may actually find the second set a bit easier as now the muscles have become accustomed to the movement. So they know what to expect, they've been activated and you may find yourself lifting a little bit higher. Push together, squeeze, lift, relax. Push together, squeeze, lift, relax. Four, three, two, one. Hold it there, pulse. We're not using the back to lift, we're using the glutes. You can rest your forehead on your hands if you like to make sure that the neck is relaxed. Pulse and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it there. Straighten the knees, bend. Try and 
trying to keep a bit of a turnout. So you're trying to maintain that thigh twist where the knees are facing slightly outwards. Squeeze those glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And here, push back into child's pose just to relieve or release those back muscles a bit. Breathe. All right, now that we've worked on the backs of the legs, we are going to work those quads. Start in a kneeling position. Your feet can be together behind you with the knees slightly open. Come up, sit back down. That's it, really nice and simple. If this position is a bit too much load on your knees, they're starting to hurt, you can move to standing and just do simple squats here or jump squats if you're feeling up to it and you'll still be working those quads. Down, push the hips forward as you come up. Four, three, two, one. You're going to keep the butt slightly lifted off of the feet and tuck the pelvis forward here. A bit of a thrust and now you will really feel those quads working tuck release tuck release if I do it from the side you can see what it looks like here so as you can see I'm not coming back down fully onto my feet eight seven six five four Three, two, one. Now down to the side, up on the diagonal. So we're down to the right, up to the left. And breathe. A bit of a pelvic push forward. Three, two, one. Other side on the diagonal. Keep it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Twenty more pelvic tucks. Last bit in this position. Breathe, that's 10, 10 to go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Whew. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely feeling it in those quads. Let's change it up once again. Come into an all fours position here. Make sure that spine is in a middle neutral position. Brace the abs, push out of the shoulders. You're going to bring one leg up behind you to the ceiling, bring it in and then squeeze up. As the leg comes up behind you, think of driving your heel to the ceiling. Forward and up. This is a bonus because we're also working the core here. For a pure core workout, make sure to check out the 15 minute core strengthening routine for this week. As the leg comes up, don't let that lower back arch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, switch straight over 
you can recenter into neutral first, push out of those shoulder blades and up and in. So even 10 months on from delivery, sometimes I can still get a little bit of pelvic pain, especially with single leg exercises. So I just take it slow when I need to. You don't have to push if it's really hurting. And breathe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Shift those hips from side to side, releasing out those thighs. We're going to move into a bear hold with a leg lift. If you need to, come up onto your fists if it hurts your wrists at all. But get into that neutral, brace those abs, lift up into bear. You can just hold it here if you want to. Otherwise, one leg up to the ceiling, similar to what we just did. Squeezing the glute, driving the heel up, not letting that lower back arch. Control. Six, five, four, three, two, one and come down, roll out those shoulders. If you need to, breathe. We're just doing one set of those because I do want to move into some bridge work because that is one of my favorite positions to work the glutes. Start with hands behind you, fingertips pointing backwards. Push out of those shoulders at no point should those shoulders sink. Come up, hips to ceiling, and it's just a down and enough. Keep those toes lifted, weight onto the heels. If you battle with the shoulder range to get into this position, you can lie flat on the mat, lift those hips up into the ceiling in a standard bridge. and lift. Squeezing the buttocks as you lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Toes down, keep the hips lifted. One heel comes up and we switch. But we keep, <laughs> we keep the hips up. And switch, switch. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hips down, flat on your back, bridge pulses here. So just have those feet and knees hip distance apart. Lift the hips to the ceiling, flatten the ribs, pulse here. Working these glute muscles. We are almost done with the workout today. Keep pulsing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep the hips lifted. We walk out one foot, one foot, then walk back. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. And you can alternate which foot goes forwards first. 
trying to keep those hips lifted. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it there, slowly come back down to the mat and breathe. That is all the tough work done for today. Bring those knees up to the chest here. Just open out that lower back. And you can rock gently from side to side in this position too. You're then going to bring the knees and the, the hips slightly out. So we've got an inner thigh stretch here. You can also grip the toes in a very unflattering position and just stretch out those inner thighs, stretch out those glutes. Bring the legs down, arms overhead, full body stretch. Breathe here in and out. In and out. In and out. Push up into a sitting position feet in front of you, sit up tall and just hinge forward until you feel that inner thigh, glute and lower back stretch. Breathe. One leg out to the side, sit up tall, reach over with one arm. Back up, other side, arm up and over. Come back up, both legs out to the side, however far you get, just sit up tall here. You can also have the knees slightly bent if that's easier for you. And slightly hinge forwards here. Just as far as is comfortable, you can add a bit of a rock side to side to mobilize the hamstrings here. Be sure to check out the mobility and stretch routine for this week, which is great for recovery. And legs behind you. Push back, roll back up to standing nice and slowly. Circle those shoulders, shake everything out. That is it for our legs workout for this week. I hope you felt the burn as much as I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed the workout today and have a look at the Belly Strong channel for more videos like this.